friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would talk about my degree, what I'm actually doing, um, how last term went, all of the above, basically how everything is going and what I'm actually doing because I realised that the information this year has been very disjointed. Um, so I thought I would just compile everything into this video. So first of all, I want to talk about my major, as it were, what I'm actually doing, etc, etc. If you are new around here, I am a med student at the University of Cambridge. I'm currently in third year, which means that this is my intercalation year, which basically means that we get to kind of specialise almost in a subject. It usually ends up being a natural sciences part two subject, so we're basically in the same year group slash subject as all the natural sciences students. Um, I personally chose to study pathology this year and that is the only subject that I'm studying because I don't have a minor option. So basically you get the choice between either doing a project in one subject and that's kind of single subject part two so you don't do a minor or you can choose to do a dissertation in either your major or your minor in which case you do have a minor subject. I went for the project option, so I just do pathology. And within pathology, you get to choose two subjects that you study out of five. So there's virology, microbiology and parasitology, cancer and genetic disease, immunology, and something about, di something like dynamics of infectious disease. I don't know, I don't do that. Um, I'm doing immunology and cancer and genetic disease, it's good that I remember what I'm doing, um, and my project is in immunology. The way that this year is laid out is we have four exams at the end of, I don't know if this is really annoying, but it's just really comfy, um, we have four exams at the end of the year, so in Easter term, which are all written essay exams, and we have to hand in our project or dissertation. I'm pretty sure the deadline must be similar for both towards the end of March this year. Um, we also have two practical exams, I think, in summer, which I know nothing about. I should probably research it. Um, I should probably find out, but I, yeah, it's news to me. And besides all of that, we're also doing the last leg of our Preparing for Patients course. So it's a four part course that we do over the first three preclinical years. Um, this version section of it is continuity of care focused. So we get multiple meetings with our patient and then we're going to have to do a report to hand in in March as well, I think. So March is going to be a real fun month, um, but that's pretty much it for what's going on this year. Um, our project is pretty much all computer based this year. Usually we would be in a lab but we're clearly not doing that because of Covid so it's all like data analysis on the computer. I'm pretty sure most people's are just that. Um, mine is, as I said, within immunology. It's about dendritic cells and how they regulate their functions based on different conditions. In a nutshell, that's what it is. Um, so yeah, we can move swiftly on to how it's going. And I guess we'll start off with my project. Long story short, I don't, I don't know what to say anymore, to be honest. If I had filmed this when I planned this, I would have said it's going quite badly. And do I think it's going particularly well? No. However, it's going a lot better than it was about a month ago, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, it's obviously difficult, to say the least. Um, there is a bit of disparity this year, which is not, not great, um, between people who obviously already kind of know a bit about coding, know how to use this software, it's obviously an advantage compared to probably the vast majority of people who have not really heard of it, have never used it and have to basically learn how to use a new software before they can even get started on their project, which was the position that I was in. Um, and it's definitely taken a while to get used to. It's a completely 
alien thing to me. I had never heard of R before my project title was given to me slash I chose it. Um, so yeah, a lot of the struggling is kind of my fault, I will say, because like I know there's a lot more that I could have done when it came to learning it. I kind of just put it off. This is a an ongoing problem with me where when I when I know that I can't do anything properly or fully and I can't the cars oh, anyway. Um and I'm I'm just not going to be great at it, which is not expected in this case and I know I shouldn't expect that because we don't have enough time to become very good at the programming software like there's just not enough time to learn everything but when I know that I'm basically just following steps and just trying to get by rather than trying to like get good at something it just it does something in my brain and I'm like oh well you're never gonna be good at it so what's the point of trying oh well you're never gonna you know know everything so like what's the point of trying which is such a stupid mentality, I know, but it's it's where my brain goes. Um, I know I need to work on it, for God's sake. <laughs> I mean, it is very much my fault in that sense, but having said that, I will give myself some credit. I am quite proud of myself. I do kind of know the basics now. I can actually, like, stuff does actually work for me in R now, which is you know, always a great feeling. Um, and I do feel like I can do, I can do the very basics, which a few months ago I couldn't do. So we've clearly learned something. Um, and yeah, I feel like this is actually a very good opportunity. I know it is because I would never have done anything using R. I would never have used any kind of data analysis thingy-mabobs. Um, <laughs> I actually sound like so stupid. Um, but yeah, I would have never touched it if I hadn't chosen to do a project and if I hadn't done it this year because usually I don't think people did a lot of computational analysis unless their project's kind of messed up a little bit. I don't really know, but that's my perception of what people have told me. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's a very useful thing to start at least getting to grips with because it is going to be a big thing in the future, obviously, our Python data analysis coding, all that kind of stuff. So it's quite cool. I'm planning on filming a video actually tomorrow, fingers crossed, about my project, just talking through what I've done, doing like a whole day of doing my project because I need to do it. Um, so that video should be up soon, so if you're interested in what exactly I'm doing, I would highly recommend going and check going to check that video out. I'll link it in the description box when it's out. But, general gist, I've been doing my coding. I'm actually nearly finished, I believe, I think, unless I'm under some sort of wrong impression here. Um, but, yeah, nearly done, which I'm actually quite sad about because it's actually become kind of fun. I've been following step-by-step -step tutorials, which is probably why it's fun, because you can't really mess it up that badly. Um, but besides that, there's a lot of reading to do. Obviously, for my write-up, I've got to write a background for it. I then got to research the results that I get. So there's still a long way to go. It's due towards the end of March. So it's now the start of Feb. We need to get a move on, but it's okay. I'm determined. One thing, I don't think this year is going to go very well for me. But one thing that I am determined is to do a decent project. I just want to make it decent just for myself, for the amount of hours that I've struggled. That's the goal. Lectures wise, I am behind. And that's all I can really say. Um, last term was truly, truly exceptional for me. It was, I mean, I got COVID a week into term. Um, between that, lockdown and living with my friend, I fell behind quite a lot and I'm still behind now and yeah, the kicker is that we don't even have as many lectures this year, I think. Um, there's a lot more of a focus on independent learning, so researching up 
the stuff from the lectures that interest us, which is completely different to the first two years, which is why I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for what to do, because in the first two years of medicine, we were basically spoon-fed information. Um, granted, it was a lot of information, but we were basically just given it and told to learn it. Whereas now, it's like, here's some information, and you need to do a load of your own research in order to actually get good marks in the exam. Um, obviously, like, this is what most degrees are like, but it's just an adjustment, I guess. I still have no idea. I just, I don't know what, what interests me. I don't know how much reading I'm supposed to be doing. I don't... Anyway, not gonna lie, I have not yet written a single essay this year, which is concerning me a little bit, but I don't feel comfortable at a stage where I could write an essay. And I know that I'm gonna have to, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my bleep together and I'm going to write some essays at least towards the end of this term or the start of next term because I know that the essays are definitely going to be different to the first two years and I do need to do some practice but it's just really daunting we also have to organize supervisions ourselves I actually sound so ridiculous like obviously it's a degree obviously it's independent learning but I feel like you're just not prepared for that with medicine at Cambridge I guess with the first two years Although then again it actually does depend because you could definitely do a lot more of your own work. The exams themselves this year are online. They said that from the get-go that all the essays are going to be online. Technically they're open book but it's honestly not really going to be helpful if this is the format that they keep them in because it's still time pressured three hour exams so you don't have time to be searching up stuff for your essays. So yeah, um, and supposedly the practical ones, which I know nothing about, are going to be in person. I don't know if that's actually still going to happen, considering, but we shall see. Just some general thoughts about first term, thoughts about online learning. Um, it has been a struggle. I mean, what did we expect me to say? Um, it's definitely been very different. Trying to adapt to a completely different way of learning is hard and it's just even worse when you're trying to do everything over Zoom. I don't know, just a little bit demoralising. Technically it's more convenient but also it's just difficult. For example, if you have a problem trying to solve it over Zoom rather than in person, it's just not the same. The main issue, as per usual, has been motivation but I feel like now it's a little bit more warranted because having everything in your room having just pre-recorded lectures, having absolutely nowhere to go. We've had zero in-person contact hours last term. Actually, I think there was supposed to be one Q&A in person, but I couldn't go to that because I was in self-isolation. Um, so yeah, it does kind of just get difficult to try to get yourself to do it and to quite frankly get yourself to care. Um, but I feel like that's kind of a common sentiment so it's not just me, um, I hope. What else? Um, as I said, I got COVID a week into uni. That was truly a highlight. Self-isolation wasn't fun. Symptoms weren't particularly fun. The main thing that I had was just a lot of fatigue, which doesn't help when you've got a degree. The lack of rowing was definitely a huge blow. In between lockdowns, my self-isolation, I had about five outings last term, which is not a lot and it was, it's really sad um, because this is kind of my last year that I could do rowing properly before next year we have placements and stuff so I might not be in Cambridge. Um, but obviously rowing is not happening <laughs> at all so it's a little bit upsetting and just in general rowing always kind of helped me concentrate a bit better and it was obviously a good distraction which didn't happen but you know it's not the end of the world there are bigger problems so yeah on the upside though last term in between the whole covid whatever um was maybe my favorite term of uni so far which is very weird to say but 
It has been so much fun living with my friend. We had our whole like floor, there's three rooms on our floor and there were only two of us so we had the whole place to ourselves. It was like basically living together in a house. Um, it was really really fun. I definitely didn't realise how much I was missing out on living with a friend until I lived with a friend this year um, because it's just you can do so much and even though there was Covid there was always someone there. Our daily walks truly the highlight. Um, yeah it was actually a lot of fun and I'm going to miss it because she's intermitted. At least this term I'm not at uni so I actually think that's a blessing in disguise and that way we can move swiftly on to looking forwards as I named it in my plan. I actually need to just calm down a little bit but yeah Cambridge announced that the entirety of this term is also online. Not that that's any different to what last term was but um, yeah they basically aren't letting us come back so I'm just doing the entire term from home I'm pretty sure. Uh, which, on the one hand, it is very weird because if you felt detached doing online uni in Cambridge, it's like 10 times worse when you're not even in Cambridge. It just feels like everything is so far away. I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like my whole like degree is so far away that like I just feel, I don't know, detached. That's that's the only way I can explain it. But on the other hand, as I said, it is actually quite nice because I know that this term would have been difficult without having my friend live with me. Um, and I don't know if anyone was going to live there, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. And it does spare you the whole COVID testing, self-isolation etc etc and obviously I am at home with my family so there's always people around which is quite nice um how many times can she say nice <laughs> but yeah I mean that's pretty much everything I've written down I don't know how long this video is I really hope it's not too long but I just wanted to kind of do a little bit of a life update yeah if you have any other questions do comment them down below and I will answer them um subscribe for more uni content. Um, I am going to film more stuff of me actually studying um, this term so subscribe for that, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!